Diane and Denmark here and ra 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 it's the beginning of a new week. This week's going to be a bit different as I uh, announced on Friday we're going to be doing a back to routines and back to school week this week. Now you can use this if you have kids, if you don't have kids, if you just need a little nudge to get going again. Perhaps you've come into that summer slump, you know, you kind of slacked off with routines, think you're doing yourself a favour. We all know how that works. Uh, or for the ladies down under, you're going into winter, can be a difficult time going from the light to the dark. Um, or you're already there. So let, let's just take a few minutes every day. I'm going to be checking in with you just for five minutes. They're going to be short videos. It's not going to be anything uh, new or scary. We're, we're going to be using two things as usual to get us back into our routines and get the kids ready for, for going back to school or college, university, whatever stage your kids are at. Uh, on one hand, we'll be using you know, the fly lady system. As I've said before, the fly lady system gives us that blueprint for looking after a house. And we're also going to be using the getting things done system. Getting things done system gives a blueprint for organizing all the thoughts and projects that we have in our lives and uh, in between our ears. So we're basically going to be using those. If you're ready to kind of get started again, the main thing is that you uh, make sure that you have your, uh, you know, take a piece of paper, take a notebook. The, the, the kids have got old school jotters. Please don't buy anything. You use what you've already got and just make some notes. Uh, we, we can't have all these things in head, so make some notes. And if you need to revisit, you know, the getting things done system where I, where I told you about, you know, what's the next action, you know, folding the piece of paper and taking that around with you, uh, I'll, I'll put a link up there for that. We won't get into that today. Um, so, you know, the kids are going back to school or you want to get going again. It's like, OK, where do I start? Where do we always start with our routines? Do you have a good routine going, like a good morning routine, a good evening routine, a good after uh, afternoon routine? What about the kids? Uh, have, have they got their routines written down? You know, we, we, we need to kind of work out the timing of these things. You know, what, what time are, do they need to get to the school bus? Or what time do you need to get them into the car if you're driving there? Um, like our kids in, in Denmark, they cycle from about the age of uh, eight or nine on their own. You know, what, what time will they need to leave the house? So if you kind of start with what time is your kind of uh, lift off time and work back from that. Now, probably over the course of the summer, you've kind of slacked off a bit. The kids are sleeping a bit later. What, what is going to help them get into you know, uh, getting up on time. Do you need to set an alarm for them? Um, do they have their own smartphones? Are they that age where you can help them to set up alarms? And, and I saw a really funny idea on the um, French Fly Lady Facebook group, Bonjour Sophie. Uh, it's, um, if you're French and you're needing more information about Fly Lady system, um, Fly Lady pour les francophones avec l'accord de Marlacilli. You can look at that, check out that Facebook group. Anyway, somebody had a great idea. They had put in alarms, you know, on their phone to help them with their routines uh, during the day, you know, you know, time to put in a load of laundry or, you know, uh, check what's for dinner. But they had made it really um, like a little cheerleader thing saying, come on, you can do it. Or, I mean, you could say, um, you could add a reminder on, on your telephone, a little alarm that pops up and say, you know, get off your bahookie, it's time to uh, get some action going. So same with the kids. See if you can add some, um, put an alarm for them, get the, their own alarm clock. It's easier if they're kind of waking up themselves instead of you going in in the morning and having to, you know, be the bearer of bad tidings. So look at your timings for things. What time do you have to be at the door and work back from that? The other thing is, if you, uh, if you haven't got your routines written down, you are going to veer off track. That, that's the whole thing about writing down these routines, whether it be on a piece of paper or on an, uh, an app, you know, like Google Keep. If you're, if you're not writing it down, 
you're probably veering off track and you're spending too much time doing other things or not being concentrated. So that's why we have, you know, the Fly Lady uh, the routine method where you get up in the morning and you just tick all the boxes and, you know, use a, a timer, um, you know, a kitchen timer, the timer on your telephone to keep you on track. I know myself over the course of the summer, you know, I get up a bit later and then the first thing I do is I check my telephone and there's all these notifications and, oh, you know, I'm looking at ideas uh, on Pinterest and then suddenly 45 minutes have gone and I'm still in my pyjamas. I need to get out of that habit again, you know, where my kids will be uh, back to school in a couple of weeks. So we need to wean ourselves off the smartphone sometimes and just, you know, take our timer, work through our list, and then we get to have playtime later. You know, whether you're on Instagram, you know, I, I, Instagram is my playground. You'll, you'll find us in there, you know, with all, uh, when it's break time. But remember, before you do anything, whether it's break time or your routines, set a timer. It really is going to be your best friend. Anyway, tomorrow I'll be checking in with you again about, uh, you know, uniform and uh, food and packed lunches and uh, exercise and extracurricular activities. But we'll, we'll get into that. Anyway, for today, check, do a wee check up on your routines. If you haven't got them written down yet, go write them down. If, you, if you're not using a timer, why aren't you using a timer? Anyway, I, I need to go on uh, with finishing my morning routine and I shall see you tomorrow. Okay, Diane in Denmark saying, live long and prosper. May the Danish food be with you and see you soon.